okay this time we will pull the values of the drop down from a list uh, column which has choices not the value inside the column but the value of the choices stored associated with that column let me explain you it's hard to understand let me explain you in our previous example we had country like this okay country name and we had like this in this example we have a my list we have a list which has a country column there is no data stored here there is data stored inside the choices value see here these are the different options we have for this column so these values are stored here in the choices and not in the column values so we are going to use those values okay now in first we'll add the data source we add the data source where is sharepoint sharepoint sharepoint, SharePoint ran away oh man go catch get them. North country will go directly to the my list directly to the list now we add humble box drop down okay drop down choices the data source name is my list dot country column name so it's oh, 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 oh i cannot type okay so my list dot country is the column name but we are picking the value of the choices not the value of the value stored in the column country but we are getting the values from the choices okay now we run this okay because these four countries are here i i did it on the purpose not to store uh, one extra so if you see this list has three so it's not picking from here it's picking from the column country in the my list it's picking from here see mexico is here whereas mexico is not in this list okay so once again the trick is to use choices my list this is the data source and then the column country we are using the choices value not the value of the column and we run it Ta -da! i hope it's clear